Hello everyone, this is Gesham and today I'll be doing a gameplay of Sea of Thieves beta. The beta will end January 30th but the full game will be released March 20th. As you enter the game, you are able to choose between 4 players to play with, 2 or even alone. As you join the game, you either spawn on a ship or an island where your crew will be. This is where you need to get used to the weapons, the guns and the variants of the game and the interface of the controls because it tends to become difficult. As you sail towards an island, they'll give you the exact name of the island if you're approaching the right one that you're trying to voyage to. Upon landing on the island, you'll run into the skeleton people, as you can see which I'm fighting, which I'm trying to fight. <laughs> and also, um, the controls are very difficult to fight, but once you get used to it, you also have guns, a sniper, and the sword is quite difficult for me. But other than that, while looting around the island, you're gonna be looking at bananas for food. You'll be also looking for cannonballs to restore your stuff and also wooden planks. Those wooden planks will become handy because right now I'll be showing you how you would die. The first way to die in this game is either you crash your ship, you gotta patch it up with the planks and also make sure you empty out the water because if you don't empty out the water you'll still be sinking other ways to also um, die is from other islands or other ships shooting cannonballs as you can see one flying straight to me and another way is sharks sharks the most uh, deadliest thing in this game because they're a two hit they're worse than guns being shot at and once you die you're gonna end up here ferry of the damned it's a very creepy place, very very creepy, but you can spawn back in the game either on your ship or on an island. Other than dying, it all sets sail beautifully after this. It's either you're going to start looking for ships to hunt, you're going to sail on your own, you're going to raise the anchor, you're going to put the sails down. You're just going to drive. Now the purpose of this game, when you're captaining the boat and driving is you're going to be navigating towards an area where you're going to want to look for voyages. Now, I'll show voyages later on, but right now I already have a voyage and you go into the captain's headquarters, you look at what it is, you navigate on the map, you look for the where you're going to mark it, and then from there you just use your compass to navigate yourself. Head on the island and this is the hardest part you're gonna read your riddle sometimes it's easy like what i have right now and sometimes it's very hard but once you find it you get that glory of it you know keeping for your treasure and it's just it feels good now once you have that treasure in you or on you i mean you're gonna look for the nearest outposts outposts are like places where they have you know like shops and different kinds of things and as you can see i'm gonna jump off the boat swim there and try to look for an, a man whose name is there you go shopkeeper now the shopkeeper once you sell it you get gold from it it, it depends how much gold either see 49 i have sometimes it goes up to like 100 or 60 or you know 80 and once you look at that and this menu is gonna have voyages what you can use you know what what you can uh what you can buy i mean and once you buy the voyages you can continue to look for other ones you know you restart all over set again set sell other than that um around the island as well at the outpost you can find shopkeepers that sells you uh cosmetics you know buckets uh, instruments especially the blunderbuss i like that blunderbuss and i'm saving for it the other shopkeeper is the clothing which you can show off to your friends you know on the ships or other random crew members other than that you know you just go on and enjoy yourself you play this game which i just did right here i um, stole a ship and look at them shooting back at me i even shot my own ship so they won't take that and now i'm sailing alone on this uh four man ship which pretty hard but basically the game is just enjoying yourself and looking around and oh one more thing make sure they have a microphone with you because they will take off if you're with a partner hope you enjoy this video and please subscribe and give this a thumbs up and a like and share this if you thought this game is pretty okay i'll be doing uh, monster hunter which i just bought Monster hunter road and um just stay tuned because i'll be buying the full version of this game as well um 
Thank you for tuning, and this is Geshem. Peace.